Hey, take a look at a picture of uh, Energy Solutions Arena. A draft party going on right now. We're not talking about draft beer. We're talking about the NBA draft. That's right. It started uh, just a little while ago, this party, and fans are waiting to see who the Jazz might get in the draft. They have the 14th and 21st picks in the first round. And then in the second round, they'll have the 46th pick. Not the best drafting position, but it could be worse. The team is lacking in the point guard position, so there is some speculation that might be where they're going to go with the, uh, their first pick when they draft, depending on who's available. Or they could give away these picks and work a trade, try to get a bigger player. We won't know, but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on it. Uh, of course, we'll have a complete update coming your way when we talk a little sports on 2 News at 6 o'clock. Doctors say cases of testicular cancer are on the rise, and the question they don't know is why. Testicular cancer is very common in young men, men as young as 18 years old. More for you in tonight's Check Your Health Report. It made me realize I'm not so invisible to things like this happening. Chris Rawlings was just 21 years old when he was diagnosed with testicular cancer. It was a hard time, a little hard time to adjust to everything. It's just being pulled out from one life to kind of coming back to reality, but then having to face something that I hadn't really ever planned on experiencing. So that was quite a whirlwind. He was serving an LDS mission when doctors discovered the tumor. Chris was sent home. He underwent the surgery and chemotherapy. Doctors caught the cancer early, but the experience, Chris says, was hard emotionally and physically. I was trying to be Mr. Macho and try and make it seem like it wasn't bothering me, but eventually I just burst and it's kind of a lot to take in when you get news like that. Testicle cancer is one of these sort of difficult to understand cancers. Dr. Jay Bischoff is the director of urology at Intermountain Medical Center. He says Utah has some of the highest instances of testicular cancer. And he says cases of testicular cancer are on the rise. We don't really know what causes it. An undescended testicle, that's a testicle that doesn't go down into the scrotum. If it stays up in the abdomen, that increases your chance of getting it. Uh, but other than that, there aren't any really good risk factors for it. Dr. Bischoff says what they do know is young men like Chris can get it. We're trying to get the message out there to these young men age 18 to 40. Just do a self-examination once a month when you're in the shower. And if you feel something abnormal in the actual testicle itself, then it needs to be evaluated. It's been five years now since doctors discovered that tumor. His cancer is now in remission. It is a growing experience in many ways, but it kind of does put you in an exclusive club. You really have such empathy for people that are going through the same thing or similar things. Well, Dr. Bischoff says there is evidence that men who smoke marijuana are at an increased risk for developing testicular cancer. For more information, go to our website at KUTV.com and then click on the Check Your Health link. All right, hot 